Hello all. In the uh, sequence of the series of the IBM MQ, we will proceed with the uh, next topic, and we will start uh, for today. From today, it is the key merger then Q, and we will see how to uh, create channel and then how to configure the uh, sender channel and receiver channel. After that, you will see, you will see uh, how we can send message from one uh, key manager to other key manager. Let's start slowly, slowly, and we will proceed with the from scratch from basic to the at high level. So let's first start with the queue manager. So what do you think about the queue managers? Queue manager uh, is a head of everything. You can say that uh, just say if you think you and under queue manager it's came the topic, queue subscriptions, everything. Let let me show you on the. Uh, uh, cons uh, let me show you in the IBM MQ uh, console if you say that like that if you go to the IBM this is the this ne needs to be downloaded from you I will give you the link you, you can download from here there uh, if you download there this is the queue manager if you see and under this we I have created the queue manager of queue max one and under that you, you can see there is a queue topic subscription channels and listeners so all these things are the comes under the queue manager so that we and everything is controlled by the queue managers the queue topic subscription everything is controlled by the queue manager that's the reason i told the queue manager is head of everything everything like the topic subscriptions comes under this queue manager is the system program that provides the queuing services Giving, yeah, what do what do what do it spend? This means that if you uh, Q, Q is used for the transfer message from one uh, system to other system, and it holds a message for temporarily, and that's controlled by the queue manager. That's the so that we can see that the queue is a, the system program that queue is a system program that provides the queuing service, that messaging service. You can see that also. The queue manager capability of controlling all objects that's queue channels and already told you the queue manager, as you queue manager is the head of everything that's it, it can control on the queue topic subscriptions channels listener everything it controlled by the uh, queue and uh, we can create object inside the queue manager only and if in, inside the queue manager if you you can create the queue manager queue queues subscriptions channels everything you can create here uh, Later we will see. I will show you how to create a queues uh, and different types of queues and how to create the topic subscriptions. Don't you don't need to worry about that. I, you just uh, focus on that. At what I currently showing you. So let me let me create a queue here for you and show you how to create a queue here. Before creating a queue here, you need to just click right click here. Just you need to right click on the queue manager. And if you see a near new new queue managers here, you need to write a queue manager name, uh, queue manager name that you want to create. Let me write it a queue max two, queue max two. Here, if you want to give a transmission uh, transmission queue, you can add here. If you want to hear dead letter queue, you can add here. But later we, you can also assign to the that queue name. Uh, you don't need to worry here. You can proceed directly. Let uh, go to next. If you see here, this is the log log file size. It is mentioned here, and some default values given here. That log log secondary files you can see here. Here here there is a data path. Data path you can see here. That is the data path. Uh, here you can see the uh, data. Uh, related to that in that part C program IBM MQ and QM jars and log also written in that path C program data IBM MQ and log so this is the path where every types of the log Q related log Q, Q major related logs sorry and everything is written here and you can find the log here next uh, and if you see here there's a type of uh, that is automatic it is let moves here let's come here this, what is the listener port number if you see here it is a job there is option to give a listener port number 
what do actually mean uh, every human users uh, require a, a listener port number and that's the unique why that's the unique let's take example uh, uh, if a person uh, a wants to talk with the person b then he will call the name of the person b if the person b wants to talk with the person a and he wants he call with the person a then every person to every one to communicate with each other there is some specific name required it's in similar manner if q major of two wants to a q major one then there is something unique required that's a q major one call the that q major two then then there's the port number there is a unique port number to the q major and the q major each other q major call with this q major by using that port number or oh, if uh, let us sample let, let's become the notepad if you, will, you will learn better here let's say uh, come a q major one q max one max one having the port number one four two zero and uh, q major two having the port q max two that's the q major two name and the port number is one four uh, what i am writing here one four let, let me write here one four uh, two zero two one so one four two one that's the uh, key major name let's take example if key major one wants to send a message to the key major two then it will call this key major with this is name that is a port number that is one four two one and if Q major 2 wants to communicate or sends message to Q major 1. He will call by his name uh, 1420. That is the listener port. That, that's the that's the reason the every Q major have unique unique port number, unique listener port number. Similarly, man, manner if a person name is is uh, John, he wants to talk with the and a. John, if John wants to talk with the Andy, he will he called his name, and if Andy wants to talk with the John, he called with his name. That's the every person have uh, require the unique name to so that the everyone communicates with each other. Similar manner, the key major require the port number. That's to so that you can communicate with each other. Let's come to our definition and uh, go through some definitions. A listener is a process that listens for the communication to the key major that is used for communication purpose with the other users. a listener queue a queue listener is application that reads and process the queued message this is a port number is required to for the queuing service to so the message can be processed a web pair mq listener activity listens on a queue when a message arrives that satisfies the configure filter it retrieves and it start processing including the content of message listener can pull a queue based on the interval and a timeout value or it can wait in indefinitely on a queue uh, each queue manager has different value of the listener port number already told you key each every queue manager has different value and in similar manner uh, just one unitary every queue manager have unit value and it's that's required for the communication process so that a, uh, if one queue manager recognize other queue managers and uh, list Let's move to the other topic uh, in the next lecture.